All right, you guys, this is Austin's fault. He peer pressured me. We've been at the house, working on the driveway, doing all kinds of stuff. I told all the boys, I said, look, we gotta go to Home Depot and pick up some supplies. Negative, we came out the back door. I got my bear, got my arrows. We're going to the tree stand. Bucks are in rut and I'm ready. And it's Austin's fault. Just going right to left. <clears throat> See him right there? Good lord, son. That means there's three bucks chasing one doe. Right behind him, just to the right of him, are turkeys. I see him now, yeah. This is what dreams are made of. right in this gap. He's coming right now. See him? Uh. I think he's down right there. No, there he goes. There he goes. He's right. Went down right there. Yes! 
That was a long story, baby. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings in my life. I'm almost to get emotional. Five years ago, I got this property. I couldn't afford it whenever I got it. No, Arya. <laughs> You're about to drop my wrench in the hole. I went out on the biggest limb of my life. Like, my mom and dad told me I was crazy for spending the money and leasing this place and doing what I've done. And I put every nickel that I make into my home, my ranch, and my business. I've never killed a deer on this property. I've never wanted to kill a deer on this property, but me and Sarah found this block and we just really set our sights on that deer right there. Never gave him a name. He was just a buck we were after. This is my brand new bow. It's a bear refine. I can shoot any bow on the market that I want to shoot. And I've had numerous bows. I typically buy them and give them away. And it's not because I was given this bow, because I was, Bear gave me this bow. But I would say that this is my favorite bow I've ever shot. Of any bow that I've ever shot, this is my favorite bow. And it's made by Bear. The first deer I ever killed in my life was with a Bear recurve. It was a Kodiak Magnum and it was on my 10th birthday. After five years of putting everything into this ranch, I finally made it happen. And I just want to say to God be the glory, thank you so much for the gifts in my life, this being one of them. Let's go check out this deer. That I saw more deer today than I have all week in Ohio, <laughs> in Florida. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Unreal. Well, you don't see this every day. I literally, my arrow is stuck through the deer and into the tree. So for those of you who say rage don't get uh, penetration, you're dead wrong. Look at these scrapes. This here is what you call a good area. <laughs> <laughs> he came, he ran around this thing and died I right thought here. he was a lot further to the left. No, he came around here to when he came around, he hooked over. And I believe if my calculations are right, it's gonna be right in front of us. Yeah, he's right there. Wow, man. I've killed some big deer. I've killed some small deer. All of them are special, but I promise you in my life, this is an amazingly, amazingly special deer. This is where that deer lived. Hold on, I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna give you my release too. Good job. Okay. Taking a shoulder off is the easiest because there's no joint. You're just letting your knife follow the edge of the, of the rib cage and you're done. This deer's gonna be freaking tender, dude. That's the back strap. This is probably the most notable known piece of meat on any wild game. 
And to start off with trimming it, you don't even need a knife. You just use your hands, really. Most of the stuff that you want to get off, you can get off using your hands. Then if you look real close, you can see that layer of silver skin. That's going to be very tough, so we really want to make sure and get that off. Put this knife down. Hold this knife here. I'm going to show you. You can hold it just like that, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we'll cut down nice and easy, easy. I will cut the little pieces. You're going to cut the little pieces? Uh-huh. That was a little piece. Yeah. No. You did it, honey. I Good job. Then one, my Hold on, honey. Now, that is what our back strap looks like. <laughs> totally trimmed out, nice uniform piece of meat, and we will salt it. Black pepper. Dad, can I do the other thing? Of course you can. Here you go, you wanna sprinkle some on there? Sprinkle Whoa, that's a lot. So now what we'll do is, we'll just roll this right in there like yeah. that. Good job. That's perfection. Yeah. Show the camera what it looks like. It's oh. a little heavy. Oh, goodness gracious. Ben, can I help you cut? Emma's over there practicing her knife skills. Meanwhile, we're gonna cook us some backstrap. Take our butter, roll it in some flour. Now we're gonna take our butter that's got the flour. Then I'm gonna throw some onions in here. Our meat is really starting to cook perfectly here. Anytime I'm making a sauce, I use a little salt. Regular, original Everglades. This stuff is great in a sauce. And then some pepper. To me, pepper is the magic. I mean, the sauce just comes to life with pepper in it. And let this start simmering. So our sauce is where we want it. We're gonna take our meat, put it over here. We're looking for medium rare. Now we're gonna let that rest for about five minutes. Now let's see what we've got. Now to finish it off, we're gonna add some fresh ground pepper and a piece of rosemary. Hey. What's up? You wanna try some deer meat? Yeah, <laughs> It'll eat anything. All right, let's try that deer. Well, you walked past it. If oh, it was geez. a snake, it would've bit you. Oh I wanna see what you think. It has a texture of a pork. Texture of pork? Pork. Mm -hmm. But the flavor does not taste like pork, it tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, this is my first time trying actually deer. I'm not gonna lie. This is your first time trying first deer? First time, absolutely. What does the deer taste like to you? It's a little bit more sweet than regular beef. But it definitely has a particular flavor that it's actually hard for me to describe but it's delicious it's delicious no question about it my man see this shirt hundreds of you have been asking about this shirt there will be a link to this shirt in the description below it's got all my favorite quotes on the back it's got deer meat for dinner on the side it's got all men die if you ever really live on this arm and uh due to the supply shortages everywhere i don't know how many we have not very many so get yours before christmas please we're gonna eat the rest of this and uh, you know what they say, take care, God bless, and we are gone.
I'm going for another piece. Eat it all. We got more. This one is so good. 